All right, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna do a quick video on, I guess, a Helltech installation. It's really not that hard. It's pretty simple actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick video over it on how to do it if you were to install a aftermarket ECU. Rather it be the Helltech option or a link option now provided by Alpha Speed, either one. It's highly recommended to always mount an aftermarket ECU inside the cabin because if you were to get water, let's just say you get water on the ECU, when it rains or something or you get a car wash and rain gets on it and messes it up then it's going to avoid your warranty for that ecu so the good thing to do or would be to do is actually to mount it inside the cabin where it can stay cool and it won't get wet another thing about aftermarket ecus is if you do mount it inside the engine bay you do lose your warranty for the most part and uh, you don't want to do that because sometimes ecus I have a tendency of going out due to particular parts that they have so it's always nice to make sure you you maintain that warranty so moving forward with this video doing this is pretty simple i mean the really easy way of doing this is you're gonna have your oem ecu in this area okay there's these both 10 millimeter bolts that hold it down and all that good stuff and then you have the your two wire harnesses right here when you disconnect your two wire harnesses you're gonna actually run that wire back over here and you're actually gonna run it through the firewall right here. And in order to do that, you need to be able to slit this open just a little bit. See how it's like cut? You're gonna need to cut it open and then you're gonna need to force it through, okay? It's really easy, I promise you it's not that hard. I think the really hard part is just to getting to cut this material without cutting any wires. So it's not too hard, but it's rather pretty simple. But the hard part gets to where you have to start mounting everything up inside the cabin right here there would be a 10 millimeter bolt for your ecu ground uh, i'll show you guys where i put mine inside the cabin and then uh i'll show you guys how my air fuel ratio gauge is hooked up but uh yeah let's go ahead and go inside the cabin real quick and show you guys what i'm talking about all right so as you can see here actually i should probably turn on the light maybe a second real quick much better so as you can see here, this is our harness right here. We got our little one right here and then our big harness. You need both of them. And then this is my Haltech Platinum Pro plug and play ECU. This is where your little one will go, of course, and this is where your big one will go. It's really easy. It's the same as OEM whenever you take on and off the connectors. So you're gonna run these wires down here first, your uh, ECU connectors. You're gonna run them down here. And after you have them down here, you're gonna figure out your ground wire and you're gonna have to figure out your uh, your brake reservoir sensor cable right here, which is this guy. And Haltech gives you an extension cable for it. So this right here is actually an extension for it because you have to bring this down here with the ECU harness. So you just plug this straight into the sensor, the extension, and it just extends it all the way through the firewall. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So right here you can see this is the extension for your brake booster um, this guy right here it's all it is is just an extension for your uh, sensor so Haltech provides that i'm not sure about link ecu that you would have to message alpha speed about it let's go back to the cabin all right so your harness is down here right your brake booster extension is right here it's, it's ready to go the next thing you need to worry about is a crown and I have my 10 millimeter ground that usually goes in the engine bay right there. I did uh, scratch the material off of the off of the surface right there to make sure it's a solid ground and it, it was a solid ground. So that's my ground reference for the ECU. So after all that's up, then you can go ahead and proceed to put on your mounting bracket for the ECU. How to come with a mounting bracket. Not all aftermarket ECUs come with a mounting bracket. You probably have to make your own for like a link or something like that but the Haltech in my case did come with the mounting bracket. So that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like real quick. So right here is the mounting bracket, this big silver piece right here. Oh, this guy. And then this is where your mounting bracket is on this side with the screws. So you would screw it into here first and then you would line it up with this guy right here and then screw it in and that's it. And that's your mounting bracket. So. Haltech sends you a USB connector with this and this USB connector is this guy right here and this is the part that you would plug into your computer for when you're tuning the, the Haltech. So take this guy off real quick. It's a special cable okay it's, it's what it looks like. So right here in this pinhole which is top row 
third to last right here. This guy is for my AFR. That's what I'm using for my power source. I'll throw up the, the diagram right now that you guys know which uh, AV port that is. So you guys can wire it up the same way as well. But that's what I'm using for the Haltech to uh, reach the signal for it. I'm gonna drop the diagram and then you guys can go about however you wanna wire it in your aftermarket gauges and whatnot onto here. All right, and just like that, the Haltech is out. Um, I know it's supposed to be an install video, but I mean, it's the same process really. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about whenever uh, you get to bring in that uh, your uh, brake reservoir uh, sensor. So that sensor, the reason why it provides you an extension is because that sensor hooks up right here to the harness. So in other words, you have to bring down this sensor with the harness whenever you do it. So that's why Haltech provides you an extension cable for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys to the computer real quick and show you guys how to boot up or how to upload a base map for your Haltech. All right guys, so we're on the computer now. Um, all you're gonna do is go open up your internet browser to whatever browser you have and you're just gonna look up Haltech, ECU Manager, and then you're gonna download two files. You're gonna download the ECU Manager itself, the latest version, and then you're also gonna download the down one here with it. Also take note that I am using a MacBook and this is a Windows <laughs> program. Uh, the way how this I did this is um, I go through bootcamp. If you guys don't know what bootcamp is, uh, look up how to install bootcamp on your iOS devices or your, your MacBook. And um, it's very simple, very easy to do. And that's how I'm able to tune on an Apple device because Haltech is not supported on iOS. It's only supported on Windows. So just a quick note. So we went to this Haltech, do downloads, and then take you to this page, and then you're gonna go to the Platinum Series, because that's what we have. Not, if you have an Elite, you would download the Elite Series, but this is the Platinum Series. So we're going to Platinum Series, and it's downloading right here. And once it downloads, that's it, it's done. So after it's downloaded, you're gonna come up, and it's gonna bring you to these two right here. And this is for data logging. If you guys don't know what data logging is, your tuner will know. Um, basically, it's pretty much showing you a pull that you do, and then from that pull, you can inspect all sorts of different variables with it, all, uh, you know, your AFRs, uh, your RPMs, coolant, temperature, everything you can do with data logging. It lets you pretty much view your pool and make adjustments to it. And then ECU Manager is basically the whole ECU program on how to tune the, on tuning the Haltech. So we're gonna open this up real quick. So you have this uh, screen popped up now for your Haltech uh, Manager, the Platinum Series one that we have. And since the ECU is offline, so once you, your ECU is connected, has power and all that good stuff, you're gonna to wanna to come up here and it says and say connect and disconnect. And you press connect and it's gonna read your ECU, it's gonna to connect to it. After it's connected, you're gonna to need to go here to file, or this guy right here. And then it's gonna give you all these base maps for different types of cars, okay? So of course ours is a Hyundai, so we're gonna upload the Hyundai, EK data, and then this guy, and then we're gonna open it up. And this will be your base map for a BK1 2.0T Turbo. Keep in mind, this is for BK1, not BK2. BK2, you're gonna have to have alpha speed do a few adjustments on the stock map because it does have different injectors and uh, map sensors, stuff like that. So BK1, you just upload this automatically and the way how you're gonna upload it is you're gonna save. And then you're gonna go ahead and press upload and it's gonna upload your base map to the Haltech ECU. And after it's uploaded, your car should start perfectly fine. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna note one more quick step that's really important that a lot of guys miss. And that is on main setup right here. When you go to main setup, you need to look at this. It's very, very important. If your model is a key turn, you have to select key turn. If it is a push start, you have to come down here to push start. Okay, it's very important. Make sure you have that in mind. Okay, if you don't pre if you don't select this correctly, it's not gonna let you start the car. So make sure you have it on key start or push start, whichever model you have. And then uh, after you have that set up, you're just gonna come down here, press apply, save, and then you're just gonna upload your tune. And that's pretty much it. You have successfully uploaded the base mount to your Haltech, and now you can start driving it, or you can drive it to the tuner shop whatever the case may be. From here on out, you're either gonna have the tuner adjust the map for you, or you're gonna have Alpha Speed do it, which they can they do uh, via Team Viewer and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is for the Haltech Platinum Plug and Play, uh, Plug Pro In, whatever you guys wanna call it, Platinum. 
whatever a few things to note make sure you have this inside the cabin do not mount it in the engine bay if you mount it inside the engine bay you risk losing your warranty okay this ecu does not do well in heat and matter of fact i would recommend you guys getting a fan with it because this ecu is known for overheating and when it overheats it takes a shit okay then you send it to Haltech. Haltech replaces it if you kept it inside the cabin and you can get your warranty for it if you don't then you're gonna have to basically pay the expenses for fixing that that board issue which is eight hundred dollars that i've seen many people get quoted for for it so keep this mounted inside the cabin okay do not mount it inside the engine bay because water you can get water damage and you will definitely overheat it so just keep that in mind okay that's it for this video guys so it was a quick video uh, i just wanted to address this before i ship this off to my friend christian in puerto rico he brought this ecu off of me as you guys know i'm doing my rb26 swap uh, pretty much going back to stock for the meantime and then from there i'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading you know trying on some arashi turbos uh the tim perber's uh uh bt kits and stuff like that i'm just basically gonna test whatever i can for, on this engine this built engine and uh pretty much see how much it can take and see how long it'll last i'm probably gonna upload this haltech video first and then after I upload my Haltech video, I'm gonna upload the other videos that I've taken already, which are explaining the way. My next engine build process and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for the other video. But uh, yeah, guys, whenever I get another ECU, I'm gonna show you guys how to upload a base map for the Link ECU, cause I'll be switching over to Link ECU. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this has helped you guys out. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if any more questions and uh, I'll see if I can help you guys out along the way. There you guys.